Hey guys, Takiyasuki here, and tonight I'm going to cover the re-reform of Shadow Assassin here on Korean Lost Saga. Uh, so let's see what went on with this character. I tried my best to catch everything. If I don't, you know, I'm sorry, leave me a comment, and I'll try and make good on it. Uh, four hit basic. A little bit more speed added to these attacks. Uh, so they are really quick attacks now. Uh, but apart from that, there's not much different with them. They do have a better hitbox, as I'll demonstrate a little bit later. Uh, but let's move on. So hold D, you spit out a little poison cloud temporarily, and it poisons them temporarily as well. It doesn't last as long as your trinket, but it is a nice feature. And this may work as a guard breaker. I can't test it on anyone here. Like, uh, I don't have anyone to test it on here, so it has a long windup. That's my uh, assumption as to why it would be a guard breaker. Uh, so that, I'm just assuming that is a guard breaker, but you'll have to double check Dawn's video or someone else's video. It serves as a ground attack too, so overall nice nice attack, nice little uh, feature with poison someone uh, on the fly, and it, the cloud does linger a little bit, so if they walk into it, they will get briefly poisoned and half fainted, and that could lead to some uh, attack opportunities. So moving on, uh, you still do have your flip kick, it is a half D now, so it's a half D, and there's the improvement on the hitbox for the four hit basic. And uh, the half D, it is improved, as you can see here, it does uh, lunge you forward a little bit now, so you're not like completely sta stationary, and it has a little bit more speed to it as well, so overall nice attack, so it's pretty nice, so the improvements are pretty nice. Uh, moving on, dash attack, so it's a three hitter, and uh, you can follow up with this with a little bounce down and juggle off that. You just press D once after your initial dash attack, and that'll follow up with the bounce down and uh, I guarantee you a little uh, extra juggle opportunities so it's really nice and you can do that off feints and that'll be your uh, primary combo starter instead of doing the flip kick so it's a nice uh, nice new uh, move there it takes your old counter attack move and makes it useful <laughs> uh, so moving on jump attack you can aim this like a gladiators now it's aimable in the air and you can follow up off this with your half D, and, and that will guarantee you a launcher opportunity, which will uh, open up a lot of damage for you. It is a little bit tricky at first to learn. Like, you have to get it just right, but it's worth it if you do take the time to learn it. And that will give you a lot of damage and uh, juggle opportunities. And your other dash attack is the air dasher. You just dash in a direction while you're in the air, and it'll do this quick version of your ground dash attack and this works as a knockback and there is no follow-up that I'm aware of if there is uh, I've tried everything and I just can't find it <laughs> and maybe some, someone can point out how I failed if they can find some so let's test our defensive capabilities now uh, let's start with the armor it does serve as a half faint counter that's probably nothing new I don't think it is and it does serve as a ground recovery as well so Pretty nice uh, new uh, defensive scheme there to the armor, being able to recover from the ground. And here's our counter attack. Our counter attack is now a poison cloud, so it's not the little uh, quick uh, turnaround thing. They've put that on the end of the dash attack now. So yeah, overall pretty nice uh, changes to the defensive capabilities, the ground recovery on armor, and uh, the counter poison cloud. So moving on, let's get into the skills here. So weapon skill. Nothing really new there. Uh, it's pretty much the same, same old, same old. You can trigger in the air now, though, and it is aimable in the air, so you can jump and confuse someone, jump in that way, and jump towards them with the weapon skill, and that'll be a nice uh, juggle opportunity. We'll do a quick juggle here, or uh, fail at it, whatever. <laughs> moving, on, uh, moving on, armor. Uh, as far as I know, there's nothing really new to this. They may have added more speed, it looks like, uh, and the ground recovery. See, coming out of it, it doesn't faint like a r Chaos for food would. And uh, pressing block doesn't do nothing. Triggering it again doesn't do nothing. So I couldn't find nothing new to that. So if there is something new, I'm really not aware of it. See, not even doing the skill. Uh, weapon skill does anything new. Helmet, nothing new. You know, it's same old, same old it looks like to me. Try a whole D. Yeah, just, <laughs> there's nothing new to it, guys, as far as I, as, as far as I can tell. I've tried everything. Uh, so let's do our helmet. Helmet is now a faint. Uh, going forward, it half faints. Uh, coming back, it uh, faints again, so that creates a whole faint. 
And you can still hit people in the offense with this. You know, just why would you do that? I don't even know. Uh, you can still hit people off your launchers. It only thing is the it works uh, more poorly on the launchers now. Like it would connect reasonably well on people airborne before, but now it doesn't because of the speed, I guess. Uh, so yeah, don't use it on airborne anymore is what I would say. So I hope that didn't fin mess up your uh, juggle schemes or nothing. Uh, trinket. Pretty much nothing new there. It looks like it's doing more. He's just standing in the cloud, though. Yeah, it may do more pulses while they're in the cloud, but uh, apart from that, there's nothing really new to it. It may last a little longer. Uh, yeah, but, you know, it's the same effect, so nothing crazy new there. So, yeah, I believe that's everything, guys. Uh, let's try and do a quick combo, I guess. Uh, let's see how these things kind of uh, work in his favor. So what I would do usually is I would do my jump mix-up game. And uh, do do that and do my follow-up. I didn't do it right there, but you can guarantee that follow-up. So, bam. Uh, I should have done two in a row. Whatever. I'm failing. So, bam. Bam. Yeah, so that would be your easy uh, damage opportunity. Then you could do a feint like that. Do your uh, bounce down juggle, which I just failed. So yeah, there's there's a lot of opportunities you can uh, create for yourself. Uh, just a quick test. So yeah, that doesn't refaint. Let's try that airborne. Yeah, so no refaints off the weapon skill or helmet. <laughs> so yeah, that, it's a bunch of simple changes. It's not as extravagant as Tau Warrior and uh, Infantry, but it is a nice little set of changes for this character, and it does help him out uh, immensely. Uh, but yeah, I, I'd, I'd recommend playing this character afterwards, after this re-reform, and it's a nice little starter character for newbies and the like. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I'll leave you with this little tidbit here. Uh, you and your fuck off somewhere. There you go. See you guys later.